Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, and I did a classic yesterday and this is kind of the opposite. This is not a majorly complex idea of a puzzle, but a little bit of backstory. Um, I think I once mentioned to Simon that um, I quite liked Japanese sums puzzles and thought I was quite good at them. Um, <laughs> That went badly wrong when he hit me with a couple of brutal Japanese sums variants, Sudoku variants that I hadn't seen before, and I crashed and burned quite badly, as I remember. That was a couple of months ago, but I'm still feeling a bit ginger about Japanese sums. However, uh, Jason Gould has sent us this very interesting Japanese sums cross the streams variant. Now, the rules are that um, there is an orthog... There we have to shade cells blue in the grid um, such that there is one connected region but it doesn't include any two by two blocks so you can't have a two by two block that's blue uh, but the sums outside the grid show you the um, groups of blue cells and what their sum is so in this row for instance where we have a a 3 and a 25 in this row, we could have a 2 and a 1 there, and then four cells that add to 25 there. But they have to be separated because the clues are separate, um, and that's how it works. So obviously in the rows and columns with three clues, there must be three blocks of cells um, in some arrangement. So. Those are the rules, fairly simple set of rules in a way, but I have a feeling this is going to be pretty complex. I don't know. Let's see. Let's hope I can get my mojo back, perhaps taking confidence from a reasonably straightforward, sorry, reasonably straightforward classics, not necessarily the thing to do, but let's see. Okay, so um, do try the puzzle on the link below the video. The check function won't work at the end because of the way I've set it up, but uh, normal Sudoku rules do apply to the 9x9 area, obviously. So, let's have a go. Let's get cracking. Um, now, it would be useful to find a row or column which almost added up to 45. Um, and there's none of those. I guess that's deliberate. 29, 17, 18... Um, 20, oh, 34, but with one gap, 28, 31. Okay, column three here. We've got 18, 8, and 8. That's 34. And two gaps in which the cells must add up to 11 because the sum of 1 to 9 is 45. Um, now, the 8s could be, one of them could be single figures. The other one obviously couldn't. So... The lowest that the 18 could begin as we look up is here, and it would have to be three cells at least, because it 9, 8 is only 17. So the lowest it could begin is here and be those three cells. And obviously it could also begin here and be those three. It could even be those four. But in any of those configurations, these two are blue. So we'll put those in. Um, is there anything else like that that we can see? 29 in this column, 18 and 11. The 18 has to be three cells and the 11 has to be two, but they could be in a non-overlapping area, so that's not very helpful. So it would help to find more of these three cell areas that add up to something over 30, uh, three cell clues. And there just aren't any. Now, 26 and 8. 26 has to be at least 4. And if it's 4, could it be 9, 7, 6, 5? No, it would have to include the 8 if it was 4. So it's either 4 and 2, 5 and 1, or more. So if it was 4... Oh, it's quite interesting for this cell, perhaps. It can't be 4 and 1. I'm just going to run through the logic of that because it seems important here. 26 
if it was made up of four cells, you can't do that without the eight. The reason I'm interested in that is because I'm saying, could it be four cells there and one there? The one would have to be an eight, so these four cells would have to not include an eight. Nine, seven, six, five is the maximum without including an eight, and that is only, tw that's 27. Oh, nine, seven, six, four. Ah, oh, curses. Okay, my maths was letting me down there. Maybe let's have a look at row three. Could that be the four? Then you have nine, eight, seven, and a three. That is just possible. Um, three there, and this could be part of the 25. Wow, so little information in this. This is tough, right. 14 and, well, 14's not even a huge number. Crikey, how do we get going, Jason? 22 here has to be four cells, but it could be those four or those four. Oh, this is not easy. Okay, the four can't be two. Maybe we know that the four here in row three can't be two cells, because if it was, it couldn't be those two, because that would be part of them. So it might be those two. In theory, you could have two cells there, three for the 24, which would be 987, and one for the three, which would be three, but then the four would be three one if it was two cells. So what I'm alleging is that the four is not two cells. The four must therefore be only one. Now I don't know if it goes here, which is possible, or here, but it's only one cell. So I'm at least gonna corner mark that into one of those cells. It feels like the smallest possible gain. Um, now, if that was four, then it's all very doable. If that was four, we'd have to have nine, eight, seven, and three. Now, this cannot be a nine, eight, or seven because it can't. That couldn't be in a six or a one. It could be in an 11, but the 11 can't be that high in the column. 6, 1, 11 would have to begin there at the earliest. So this is not the 4. The 4 is here and is blue. Bam. I feel quite pleased with that. Right, and that means the 24 begins here and is at least three cells. Absolute minimum, but unfortunately that is possible. The 3 comes after it. Could be two cells, could be 2, 1. But nevertheless, we've got a four in here. Now, what's that part of? We could have a five here. The four could be part of 10. Oh, that's quite interesting though. The only way that could happen is if this cell is a one, the five would be here and be part of the 13. Five, two. Oh, it's quite... Yeah, the ramifications are fascinating in a way. Maybe the better question is, could be the f could the four be part of five? Hmm. Okay, interesting. I don't think it can. Here's my logic for why the four can't be part of the five. Because it would obviously be four and one. Now that looks quite plausible here. But that would mean that you'd need a 10 sum below it and a 6 sum below that. That would mean the 10 would have to be here and the 6 here. But the two digits on the left of here have to both be 2s because of those clues. So that's nonsense. Can't be there. Um, so 4 and 1 can't go down there. Can 4 and 1 go up here? No. 1 here would have to be part of a 3, which would be 1 and 2 and would wrongly join onto that. So the four is not part of the five, so let's put a barrier in between. I'm gonna choose orange. The five is up here and is blue. And that's part of a 13, and it must be three cells long because the first clue in column two is a two. In fact, if that cell's blue, that has to be two. It can't be one, one, obviously. And in fact, that's now a barrier cell, so. Oh, this is real progress. Um, seven, we could easily have a six here to make up the sum. In fact, 
we can't have two more cells because that would be two, four, or five, one. And we can't have three more because that would be one, two. And we've already got a two and a five. So we have to have a six here. We've finished the 13. We can make the rest of that row orange because there's no other clues. Wow. Okay, this is this feels real. Now that's orange because the four has a barrier after it. Okay. Now the 10 clue begins with a four. It's got to include this cell, and that cell is the first in row four. That has to be one. Then you need five more, and we've used the five in the column, so it has to be three and two. That's fine, because this row, row six, has to begin with a two. So that is two. So after both the one and the two, we can put in a, an orange barrier. We can put in three there to make up the sum orange barrier at the end of the 10, 6, well it's got to be one cell because we can't, we've used all the numbers below 6, but I don't know where it goes yet, so we'll just corner mark that. Now this 26, that's at least 4, um, yeah, so we'll colour all those green, could be 9, 8, 6, ah, and blue cell in column 2 has to be a 6, it's already fully demarcated with barriers either side, so we know that is the 6 referred to in column 2. Now 7 below it could be either a single 7 or a 3-4. Ah, this cell, which will have to be a 2 whenever the row begins with numbers, cannot be, because we've got a 2 in the row and we said it's either 7 or 3-4. Um, yeah, I can't put these numbers in the cells because if one of them's a 7, then the other could be absolutely anything in an orange cell. I think we'll have to do the orange cells at the end. Now, can column 3 start with a 5 cell 18 with a 6 in it? It'd have to be another 12. It would have to be 6, 1, 2, 4, 5. I know that because I know the 12 combinations with um, 4 cells. And it cannot be 61245 because you couldn't fill those two cells in this Sudoku box with two out of one, two, four, and five because three of them are gone already. So that is only three cells long. These two add up to 12, and they're not five, seven, or four, eight from the box, so they're three, nine. I'm just going to leave the orange cells for now. They might be useful, but they could just complicate things in my head. So. Now, we've had 6, 3, 9. Oh, that's interesting. The other two clues in the column are 8 and 8. Oh, I was going to say they have to be 1, 7 and 8, but actually one of them could be 1, 2, 5. Hmm. Can't get it off my tongue now. 6, 9. I mean, we just don't know how many cells that is at the moment. So nothing to do there. Ah, three clue in row two. So this has to be the three, sorry. Should have noticed that earlier. This has to be the nine, that's part of the 24. Now the three clue has a barrier after it. Then it's gonna have cells adding up to 25. Now that has to be four cells big. So the middle three have to be blue. And now I'm remembering a key rule that I hadn't thought about that we can't have a 2x2 two two blue area. Um, it's not that helpful, but it does... Ah, oh, yes, it is that helpful. This 24... Oh, no, it's... It could be three cells, but it can't be five now, because that would give us a 2x2 two two blue area. So it could be three or four. I'm going to have to just try and remember that. Right, 11 in column six has to be at least two blue cells when the blues start, so that's blue. Now we can use the two by two rule, make that orange. Same there actually, because otherwise we're getting a two by two there. Great. Um, right, this can't be more than six because of this clue. Ooh, does that, I don't know, one, two, three, or five. It's not that limiting, I don't think, but it seems interesting anyway. Um, now this, oh yeah, we said that has to be four at least, so we can mark that blue, brilliant. Now this 22 has to be 
again at least three cells yeah so we can mark them blue this column begins with a two and we know that if it begins with a two it's a two followed by a barrier that makes this one a three at the end of row three now this can't be just three cells because that could only give you 20 so we get another blue Ooh, 26 and 8 so they're split up by 11 in orange which must be at least two cells mm, can't do that yet ah 23 that has to be more than one cell and the second row the second block in row four is a two so we can put in two with a barrier after it which we could have done by the two by two rule anyway now 23 in three cells with a two it has to be four cells at least that gives us a two by two so we can put an orange in there 12 has to be at least two in row six that gives us a two by two orange whoa and now in row five the 26 clue we've already got nine of them and we're suddenly limited to two more cells got to be eight and nine i think 17 26 yeah excellent and that's done the oh there were other ways of getting that eight obviously in column three still don't know whether this is one two seven or one or sorry one two five or one seven but i do because row seven begins with a two oh i don't know that that's blue though that could be orange there's no barrier against an orange two by two ah nearly nearly made a false assumption there let's hope i haven't been doing any others of those it does happen ah single blue up there six clue okay now 25 clue and we've got eight marked we need another 17 that's eight and nine in some order and 11 clue eight two one nine two or eight one two so that's one or two well this is having implications for the 24. nine it's having really bad implications for the 24. oh no what's happened now check my math six and two is eight we need another 17 eight and nine oh this 24 is not going to work with a maximum five it's not a five it's a six for some reason oh thank god i was working on this having to be two cells and it's clearly not so this is now the maximum two oh thank goodness for that this is oh hang on that could still be a one could it nine and six is 15 we need another nine so that's seven or eight okay calm down don't know what that is yet except i do how could that be a one it could only be a one by eight one two and that is not possible because of that two now so okay that is a two sorry two there okay comfortable with that nine fifteen seventeen that's a seven 7, 16, 18, we need five more, but it could be a five or a one, four. Just don't know yet. <sighs> Sorry, that was a bad moment. Right, six is either a single cell or two, two cells there. Can't be two cells because it would be two, four or one, five, and it can't be three cells that would be one two three so it is a single cell all of those are orange um 26 8 oh eight could be three cells could be one two five it can't be one cell because we've used the eight in the row so it must be two could be one seven or one two five but this is a five so it can't be this clue is a five and it can't be a two here it's quite likely to be a five but it could still be a one but it is blue hmm okay we need a 16 below the five that could just be two cells does that mean this one has to be blue yes i think it does even if the five is two cells the 16 will be there 
And if the five's one cell, the 16 is either two cells in one of those or three there. So I'm marking that blue, um, which doesn't really butter any parsnips. Ah, six and one in column five. So this is a one. Okay, didn't notice that before. And it's got a barrier after it. Ah, here in row seven, we need to fit in three groups of blue cells. They can't start here with a two because you couldn't fit them in. And there's a two there. So the two that begins them has to be here now. So in goes two with a barrier after it. Now that's useful for this sum, which is 16, 18 and a five. That's nice. Five, six. So we need another six here. Can't be again. It can't be one, five, two, four or one, two, three. So it has to be a single six in the blue. That's a barrier. There's still four to come somewhere there. Six, one, those two have to be blue and make 11. Oh, these can't, this adds up to six down here and it cannot be, it's just like column one. It can't be one and five or two and four. So again, we've got a corner mark of a six. So six there and six there. We can actually by Sudoku weirdly play six in row seven now. Because of those position sixes and those, it can't be anywhere here. And that six and that six are ruling out those two. So I'm going to put in a six here. But it doesn't have to be blue. And therefore, I must not necessarily add it into the 16. Now, two. Yeah, this now can't be two and six. So this is a one five pair in blue. That works. That's fine. Now we've got to put seven in down here. Can't be two, it could still be three, four, or a single seven. Wow, okay, whichever of these is the six has another blue cell next to it, because one of them begins with 14 and one begins with 20. Uh, I don't know which though. So that's a kind of domino. Both of those are one blue and one orange, and both of those. Have I forgotten any of my rules? I've got to connect up my whole blue area. Not have any two by two blues. Okay, not having any two by two blues means they're not both blue, but I kind of knew that. One of them's a four, therefore. Now, how are we making this eight? I still can't rule out one, two, five, or one, seven. Oh, this 22, 9 plus 9 would definitely make this a 4, which is impossible because 4 is now in one of those two cells. How intriguing. That almost feels like I might have made a mistake, but I'm going to trust myself. 8, 11, 17. So 5 more. We could put a 5 here, or we could have 1, 4. So that's 5 or 1. This is, well, it can't be five, three, but it would be five, one, two, or it would be one, oh, five, two, or one, seven. Uh, it's not as helpful as I wanted. Right, um, column six, we've got an 18 clue. Now six is part of it. So that can't finish here. This must be blue. There's no way of that not being blue. And that's interesting for this row. Ah, yes. Now, two, seven, six. Obviously, they can't all be blue. It could be seven there, but that would leave a single cell, which would have to be six here. That's clearly impossible. This six is blue. Those two are orange. This is a seven. And that row is complete for its clue. I like this puzzle. This is so interesting. 13 there. Uh, 2, 5, 16. Now these blues must be part of the 16, so we need a barrier in here. So that is orange. So the blue 4 is here. Let's get rid of the corner mark. Put the proper 4 in there. Now that makes this one a one to finish the clue, rather to my surprise. 11, 
17, 18, 22. That's lovely. Still don't know whether this is a 5 or a 7. If it's a 5, there's a 2 there. Um, this is now making 16, so they both have to be blue, not just one of them. That could only be a maximum 15. The 22's finished all the blue cells there. Yeah, okay, column, column 8, it's column 7. This is much more useful than I'd realised. We can only get one blue section in there, so that is now 2 and blue. And that fixes this as a 5. We can put that orange in that I could probably have put in before. This is either, oh, I don't know whether that's a pair of blue or just one. 13, we'd need five more here. Again, it could be one four or a single five. This is getting quite tough at the bottom, so I might just try and do some regular Sudoku now and finish off the top sections, and that might help me. So this has to be eight. Oh, this Sudoku is a lot easier than I had expected, so. These are just going in. That was a 4-5 pair determined by that. The 1-7 pair was determined by that. 1-8-3 is a triple there. Now that's not so straightforward. 7-4-9 there. No, we can't do much with that. But we know the 1-5 pair down here because of that 5. 6-1-4-2-5. This is a 7-4 pair. And we've got the 7 down here to tell us which way round. 8-3 here. That makes this a 5-4 pair. Yes, 5's down in one of those two. 7-9 here. Could do that by uniqueness, but that's not the way to do it. 3-8 there. 9-7 there. Okay. So, how is this going to help? Yeah, this is going to help because in this column we need a 7, and it can't be here by Sudoku. So it's definitely one of these, so they're not a 4-3 pair. Whichever one is the 7 is blue. Whichever one is the 7 goes with the 6 here. 6, 7. Oh, could go with a 1. No, it couldn't, because then you'd need 4-2 or 5-1. 6, 7, 5. No, you'd need a 2. Okay, so the 6 and 7 must be here to make the 14 by having a 1 there. Wow, that was actually quite complicated, but it does work. Um, let's get rid of the 6 there. This must be the blue 6. These are now brown. We've done the 6 and uh, orange. We've done the 6 and 7 clues. Let's get rid of the pencil marks. 14, ah, these must be four blues together, adding up to 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, is that? Yeah, that's right, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the 5 by Sudoku has to be here because of these 5s we've got marked. 2 has to be here because of those 2s, Then that's a 3, 4 pair. 16 down here, can't have a 4 there because it would need two 6s, so 6, 3, 7. So we get the four there. Uh, that is orange. This one, yeah, we've done the sum in the column. So hopefully 11 plus 9 is 20. 2 plus 9 is 11. All the blues add up. They all form a continuous region that can form a kind of C. And they can all... There's no two by twos. Excellent. So it all looks right. We do the rest by Sudoku. Nine and eight there. A three, four pair there. Eight and nine to finish row eight. That nine fixes the seven at the top. Ah, the four has dealt with the nine, four pair up there. That sorts out the nine, seven pair. This three, eight pair. Yep, they're done. 1 and 8 here, yes, we've got an 8 in row 9, 2 and 5, yes, they're straightforward, 3 and 4 along the bottom, 3, that's a really nice puzzle, I've been very entertained by that, that has re restored my faith in Japanese sums and my ability to do them, that's a really nice puzzle from Jason, excellent fun there, um, I hope you had a go at that and enjoyed it, because that is what I like about Japanese sums. And after a, an interesting beginning, it progressed very well with these 
numbers along the left especially these twos were very useful clues um, very entertaining thanks to jason for sending it and thanks for watching hope to see you again soon on cracking the cryptic bye for now